What? How can you see me? W what? But you shouldn't be able to see or hear me. I don't believe you. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? And now? Okay. Let's say I do believe that you can see me, even though that shouldn't be possible. That still leaves the question of why now suddenly? Did one of the books hit you in the head or something and, I don't know, rewired your brain or something? Wait, what? You've always been able to see me? But you never talked to me before, why? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me you heard me talking to myself all this time too. Or the singing. Oh, by the gods, this is so embarrassing. No, don't look at me. I may be a ghost, but I can still blush. Actually, it's much more apparent than for you living, since it's basically a direct projection of my mental state onto my outer appearance and stuff. And I'm rambling again. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna go hide in some corner and hope the embarrassment is enough to make me pass over into the next life. Uh, stay? B but I'm way too flustered right now, and how are you even grabbing onto my hand? You're literally touching an intangible being right now. Let me go so I can just go die in peace or something. Uh, okay. <sighs> but only if you promise not to laugh at me, okay? I swear, I will run away the second. No, the split second you make fun of me. Good, good. Uh, you can let go of my hand now, by the way. Oh... Oh, no, 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 it's nothing like that. I didn't feel uncomfortable or anything, don't worry. It actually felt kind of nice, to be honest. In a way, that was also super embarrassing. I'm acting differently now than before. I mean, yeah. Until now, I thought you couldn't see me, so I just... <sighs> Do you know the phrase, dance like nobody's watching? Basically that. In life, I used to be a pretty shy person still am no matter where i was i always felt like everybody around me was staring at me and judging me so you know dying and turning into a ghost that was supposed to be invisible to livings was actually kind of almost freeing i could just float around and act like i pleased without being afraid of judgment and i discovered that i maybe possibly theoretically have a bit of a mischievous side so i started pranking you I know it sounds weird to say that death was a good thing, but that's not what I mean either. Just in a way, okay? You understand? Really? <laughs> in a way, I see. I guess that's fair. I wouldn't really expect a living like you to understand the true meaning of death. I know that I for sure didn't back then. Why do I keep calling you that? What? Living? That's just what spirits, ghosts, and so on call you people. Creatures that are alive. I thought it was kind of self-explanatory. Oh, you mean why this word specifically? I think it's mostly because there is no better one, to be honest. I heard some call you flesh bags, but I find that kind of derisive, so I don't like to use it. It's also not really accurate, you know? Vampires and revenants are also undead, but they still have flesh, don't they? Ah, uh, no, I don't know any vampires myself. I only heard that they existed. I don't really leave this place, so all I know about the ghost community, if you want to call it that, comes from some wandering spirits I met a long time ago. Yes, still a shut in. I guess some things don't change even after death, do they? Though, it probably became even worse when compared to my life. Think about it. No matter how much you might want to stay inside all day, you would still have to go out and buy food and necessities, or you would have people checking on you, social gatherings to attend, and what else. But all of that is not relevant for ghosts like me, so I really only stayed inside this place with... with you. And I have to say this house... kind of grew on me. When I moved in, it stood empty for a few years until you moved in. At first, I was a bit annoyed by the constant noise you brought into my home, so I might have acted a bit aggressive early on, but then I got used to it. I still continued my pranks, though. <laughs> yeah, you obviously noticed that. I'm going to miss that. It's really a shame that I'll have to say goodbye to it all.